Are you interested in making billions of silver? Are you at 700 gear score? Then I've got the perfect spot for you to grind like a ball. Today we're going to be going over Gyphon Underground. Yes, one of the most popular grind spots in the game. So many people have grinded this spot to get to level 65 and 66. But now, you can grind there for silver too. On last week's patch, we got some huge buffs to Gyphon Underground. Now initially when I looked at the patch notes, I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. But after testing Gyphon Underground on my Scholar with 710 gear score, I realized that the changes were actually pretty huge. The amount of trash loot per hour that you get is sizably better. You went from being able to average around 575 million silver just in trash loot to averaging over 700 million silver just in trash loot. Just from my calculations, I am able to make around 150 million silver more per hour just on trash loot the AP cap was also raised by 30 points I think this had one of the biggest impacts on the spot improving your kafras per hour your trash per hour just everything stacked up with that extra 30 AP so let me share my results with you so pre buff I was averaging around 1 billion silver per hour with a total of around 22,000 trash loot. At the time, this was really good. Post buff, I'm averaging 1.35 billion silver per hour. That's an increase of around 350 million silver. So how does this affect the economy of the game? How does this affect the overall world of Black Desert Online? Well, first and foremost, it's going to be a lot easier to roll for your T9 horses because this place is going to give you the origin stone. So there's going to be a lot more of that on the market. Secondly, Kafiris is going to be cheaper and readily available on the marketplace. So if you're trying to hit those C10 armor pieces to get that Fallen God set, then now is the time. Overall, I think this is a very positive change for the game. I would like to see more endgame spots get worked on. Personally, I'd really like to see Hex Sanctuary get just a little bit of a buff. Now, they've progressed the game even further and made Dark Seekers Retreat and the Ulakita region. They have Dekia Thornwood. So this is kind of early endgame progression right here i would say if you're around 700 gear score this is a great spot for you to grind currently i've been grinding it at 301 409 so the spot does require you to have a decent amount of dp the mobs hit really hard if you get caught you know the butchers kind of slap sometimes you might get bent over they might tap that thing and then you might lose a crystal so just make sure you got your DP ready and your tanky and you got your add-ons and you're just killing it, man, you know? So that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed the content. Make sure you hit that sub button if you're still hanging around. I appreciate you so much. Leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing in Gyphon Underground. Did your trash explode through the roof? Have you been able to hit 30K? I had one hour where I hit 30K, but I will say during some of the testing, it got kind of buggy. But I do wanna know what's going on with your grind. And if you're interested in some more BDO content, make sure you check out one of these other videos right here because you know they're gonna be lit.